Today's video from Sharper, we're going to take a look at how you enable the copy receipt function on the XEA203 and 206 registers. So in this video I'm using the 203 but the process is the same on uh, all similar models. So on the machine is standard, if you've got it in register mode using the standard receipt mode, when you process a transaction um, you get a receipt printout. If you try and produce a copy receipt um, then nothing happens. You have to enable the copy receipt function in the programming mode. So I'll talk you through how to do this. You'll need a couple of things. Uh, you need essentially the metal key marked MA and you need to turn it round to the PGM position as you would do with all programming. What will also be really useful is a copy of the manual. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as well as telling you how to do it, the actual process for it, I'm also going to try and break down and explain some of the uh, mysterious bits of the manual. So the key page we're looking at is page 59 that's got this flowchart on. So this flowchart, subtotal, job code, multiply button, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, T, M, S, T, T, L, N, S. That flowchart refers to all the job codes listed out over the following two or three pages. Um, in this particular video we're looking at job code 63 um, because that is the one that has, um, where is it, next page, job code 63 which is on page 62 of the manual, letter D refers to copy receipt and as default it's not enabled. So when we come to enable the copy receipt then we would choose number 1 instead of 0 for that setting. But the only thing you want to be careful of, obviously on that flowchart, A to H you need to put in a number either 0 or 1 for every setting so you just got to double check these settings don't contradict anything else you're trying to do on the register because you're not going in and just changing or enabling copy receipt you're controlling a few other settings um, so basically I've done a crib sheet already from that job code 63 that's basically got all the default settings selected apart from copy receipt so TMST 63 multiply then my codes are basically number one is the fourth digit that would be on the default till program in that set to zero but I'm going to choose one um, which will enable the copy receipt function so I'll just pop that there for now and move the manual hope that's hope that's explained the overall process how I'm getting this information um, it's not on some secret um, cash register dealers um, internet chat forum or something it is in the manual it's just a bit You've got to try and decode it. So this process is PGM mode, which we're already in. Subtotal, 63, job code 63. The multiply button, then our code. It says others program. And we, that means we can now type in the code 0101. That, that one I've just pressed there, being enabling the copy receipt. And then 0001. So everything is at the default settings apart from that fourth digit. TMST to save, TLNS to come out of it, key back round to reg. You get a printout which doesn't look like a lot but it does say job code 63 and then confirmation of the code you've put in. And what should happen now is if we process a sale, we get our default receipt printout, then we also get a copy receipt. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. Uh, as I say, we've got plenty more videos uh, showing you how to get the best out of the XEA203 and other sharp cash registers. Some of those videos will be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.